YouTube, this is Blake of Blake's Game Room, and I'd like to welcome you guys back to another episode of New Gaming Stuff. Now this is episode 29, and um, really I just got some awesome strategy guides, and a couple really awesome games and some accessories. So first of all, let's start off with the games I got. Um, as you guys know, a couple videos ago, I got Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and I was supposed to trade this to a guy, but another friend had it on borrow. Well, it turns out that um, the other guy really just didn't want it, so I actually got my game back. So, and it is complete. So, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood's back in the collection. And now uh, this next game I got for like five bucks. I mean, it's a heck of a deal. Um, now, this isn't like a super rare game or anything, but for me, it's a big deal. And um, this is a sealed brand new copy of F-Zero for the Super Nintendo. Now this is the Player's Choice Million Seller Edition that came out I believe in 1997 but this is sealed, factory sealed as you can see with the hang tag there. It says factory sealed. And uh, so not only is this my first box Super Nintendo game this is brand new sealed. So it's a great Nintendo franchise, and even though it's the greatest hits version, I'm super excited to have it because it's a sealed brand new copy. This is going to be my, my pride and joy of my Super Nintendo collection for now. So, awesome, awesome, awesome pickup. Uh, next up, uh, I know a long time ago I showed you guys I got some of those Wii Sports uh, kind of accessory things. Well, the dollar store that had them finally got some more in and they actually had them two for a dollar so I got these for 50 cents a piece and I have the baseball attachment you just put your Wii mode in there and it's good to go and whoosh, you get baseball and we got the tennis racket attachment so now I have the steering wheel the golf club the tennis racket the baseball bat I think I'm ready to play some Wii sports now let's get into uh, I'm gonna save the best thing for last now let's get into the, uh, I got five guides here. Uh, I did get the original World of Warcraft uh, strategy guide. And this has some great artwork and great full color maps. This is the um, battle chest guide. So I believe it's a little smaller than the original. But um, still, it's a great guide to add to the collection. And next up, we got... Final Fantasy 11 Online, and this is the official strategy guide. This is the Spring 2004 version, and um, this is for the PC and the PlayStation 2. And it's a little bent on the front, but I mean for free, I'm not going to complain. All these strategy guides here I'm showing you guys are completely free. My cousin's moving, and he's cleaning out his old books. He gave me not only all of these strategy guides. But he gave me a whole bunch of, because uh, he's a computer programmer, he gave me a whole bunch of awesome programming stuff so I can start getting into my career of that. Um, I also got, got this here. Now, this is already taken. This has already uh, been traded. Um, but I just have to send it out. But um, this is Final Fantasy XII. This is a duplicate copy. Uh, I already have the strategy guide. But um, a friend here on YouTube wanted it, so... I decided I'd trade them for it. Um, great artwork, as you can see. Just stunning artwork. Great game. And um, great strategy guide. Uh, next up, I got, which I'm really excited about this one too, it's the Halo 3 strategy guide. So, really excited about that one right there. And um, this one has some awesome multiplayer map tips. Um, let me just show you here in the back these uh, like for for uh, I believe it's snowbound or whatever. I mean look look, look at these maps, absolutely gorgeous. Um, shows all of the you know the, the maps for the campaign. Great strategy guide once again you know the official bungee guide, awesome. And last but not least, this might be my rare strategy guide I own now. Um, it is a little beat up, but you know, this was his favorite game back when it came out. 
and he played the crap out of the game, um, and uh, so he definitely, definitely, this is a well-used strategy guide, but it's in relatively great shape for being well-used, and um, this is the official Final Fantasy VII strategy guide. Super excited to get this, like, wow, I mean, I got Final Fantasy VII strategy guide. I've seen this go for a lot of money, and um, great artwork. It's complete. It's even got the uh, the world map in the back. Some more artwork. But this is the official Brady Games Final Fantasy VII strategy guide for free. So awesome to get that. Now next, now the last thing I got here is it is a game. And it's an Xbox 360 exclusive, I believe. Um, and it's kind of a really weird game. Um, my weird, you'll, most, most of you gamers will probably know what it is as soon as I show it. Now the box is kind of beat up. I did get it used off of a friend. Um, and it kind of got beat up uh, on my trip to work because I had to go to work after school. Um, but it is... The record of Agorist, all right, yeah, Agorist War, the uh, Naughty's co Naughty Collector's Edition, and of course you see there it's a little dinged, but you know, that's okay. Let's just show you some of the artwork here. And some here. And uh, the back. I'm going to do a little unboxing because everything in here is brand new pretty much. So first up, we've got what looks to be the mouse pad. And, huh, this is funny. And, um, well, <laughs> here's our, uh, there's the mouse pad as you can see here and um, so here's the girl and that right there is the uh, what you rest your wrist on and they're very squishy but um, yeah so comes with the mouse pad uh, here we got the pillowcase Which is here. So that's pretty awesome. That's one of the high elves from the game. She's one of the main characters. So that's pretty cool, but I'll never use it because it's pink and purple. See if I can get it folded back up here the way it came. Yeah, that's not half bad. And last but not least, in the box is the game. Now, it actually does have a sequel, believe it or not, coming out on June 14th. Um, I haven't got around to playing it yet. I just got home, just got it. It's made by Axis Games. And um, here's what you would get if you didn't get the uh, Naughty Collector's Edition. It's from the 360. I don't know what year it came out. Because it really doesn't say anymore. 2009 it came out. Yet this disc says 2000. Okay, it comes with the original CD soundtrack that says 2010. But the, the actual game disc says... Two, it's 2010. Okay, so this game came out in 2010. And there's the uh, disc artwork. And, and it has a very, very nice... I looked at this already. These are by the same people that make Death Smiles, in case y'all didn't know that. I mean, there's some great artwork in here. Uh, full color pages. Definitely a, definitely good, a good game, uh, apparently, because, you know, they got a sequel coming out. Uh, this is a huge hit in Japan, I heard. Um, 
So definitely probably going to be a fun game. Um, I, I might pop this in later tonight, see what's going on here. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, this has been New Gaming Stuff, episode 29. And um, like I said, you know, as always, check me out on my other links on my other pages. Um, check us, check out my podcast. Now, on episode one, I'm not in it, but episode two, I am. And we had to redo episode three, so we're redoing that hopefully this weekend. And that's going to be a great episode if you're a Play a Lives fan. Definitely stay tuned for that because we're going to have him as our special guest. And uh, pretty much, guys, just um, stay tuned. You know, I'm getting new stuff all the time. And, um, you know, all my links are going to be down below if you want to contact me uh, you know, on Xbox Live. Whenever the PlayStation Network gets back up, because that looks like it's never going to happen. Um, well, probably next week, I'm over-exaggerating. Uh, I don't have my Wii friend code up there, because I don't really play my Wii all that much. Uh, just because I don't have a good selection of games, which I need to start getting. But um, pretty much, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, this has been Blake with Blake's Game Room. Peace out, YouTube.